Franklin plants a tree. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He liked caring for his goldfish and tending his garden. But when Franklin found out he was getting his very own tree to plant, he had such big plans. Phew! Hi, Franklin! Whoa! Is that the hole for your tree? Yeah. I'm glad I'm not planting a forest. Gee, maybe the hole I dug is too small. If you want to plant a small tree, you only need a small hole. I need a big hole because the tree I'm planting eh, has got to be big enough for my swing. Oh, I didn't know you could get big trees. They come in all sizes, Bear. I want one I can have fun with. I know what I could have fun with. A plum tree! <laughs> then you'd better go to the village square early to make sure you get the one you want. <gasps> get in the wagon, Franklin! What? Get in! I can get there faster than you can! <laughs> okay! Earth Day provides us with an opportunity to make a real difference in our world. And what contribution to the environment could be more fitting on this day than the planting of a tree? I don't see any trees, Franklin. Me neither. Maybe they're not here yet. And now it gives me great pleasure to present each of you with a tree. What about you? I've got mine already. It's in my backpack. <laughs> Good one, Rabbit. A truck's going to drop it off at your place later, right? No, it's in my backpack. I was the first in line, so I picked out a nice big one. <laughs> if that's a big tree, then you need a smaller tire, Franklin. One about this size. <laughs> I've got a special place for you in our front yard. What kind did you get, Beaver? An ash tree. So do you know what I'm going to call it? Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, look what I've got. A baby Christmas tree. It is not a baby Christmas tree. It is a pine tree. A pine tree? Huh. It looks like a Christmas tree to me. <laughs> it even smells like one. <laughs> Never mind. What kind did you get, Franklin? I don't have one yet. You'd better get over there. You won't get one at all. Yeah, there aren't many left, Franklin. Thank you. Oh, you're most welcome. And have a happy Earth Day. Hi, Mr. Heron. Franklin, I can't tell you how gratifying it is to see the youth of our community so excited about tree planting. If there aren't any trees left, that's okay. I'll just... Ta -ta -ta. I wouldn't hear of it. If you put your name on the list for a tree, then you shall have a tree. Ah, here we are. Asa Sacarum, or sugar maple, as it's more commonly known. Thanks, Mr. Heron. If I've inspired you to have a greater appreciation for trees, then the pleasure is all mine. You're pulling a wagon. This is not a shortcut. Phew. Now this is a tree I could have fun with. You're only big enough for ladybugs to climb. I should plant it up there so it doesn't look so short. Huh? Uh-oh. <sighs> oh well, it was too small to plant anyway. <laughs> Are you planting a tree here, son, or burying a tire? What? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I was going to make a swing in my tree, but then I found out how little it was. So where is this little tree of yours? Well, 
Like I told you, it was it was really little, and and it was kind of crooked. And I well, I decided that <sighs> I lost it. It must have fallen out of my wagon when I hit a bump. Franklin, a tree is a living thing, you know. A living thing? But it just stands there. It doesn't do anything. It grows, just like you do. And it needs food and water and air, just like you. Gee, I never thought of it like that. And it's lost somewhere, all by itself. Well, it's not very far to the village square. I'll bet you could find it if you went back and had a look. That's right. I've got to find it. It's so small. How will I ever find it? I should have carried it in my shell. Then I wouldn't have lost it. Huh? Hi, Beaver. What are you doing? I made a growth chart for Ashley. A growth chart for a tree? Sure. Every year on Earth Day, I'm going to measure how much it's grown. Dad already took a picture of me standing beside it. He says in three years it'll be taller than me. Really? Uh huh. Why did you plant your tree? Well, I haven't exactly planted it yet. You haven't planted it yet? How's it gonna grow if you don't plant it? Um, I've gotta go. See you later, Beaver. <laughs> Perfect! What are you doing, Bear? I'm decorating my tree. But Christmas isn't for a long time. I know that. I just want everyone to notice it. I don't want it to get stepped on. <gasps> Gee, anyone could step on my tree. Just put a ribbon on it so they can see it. I can't, Bear. I lost it. You did? Where? I wish I knew. I've searched everywhere and I can't find it. Maybe someone else found it and gave it back to Mr. Heron. Do you think so? That's what I'd do if I found it. You should ask him. I'll go with you. Thanks, Bear. Come on, let's hurry. I don't know about this, Bear. I thought you wanted to find your tree. I do. It's just that I'm afraid to tell Mr. Heron that I lost it. Hmm. Just ask if he has any trees left over. If he does, tell him you'd be happy to plant them for him. Yeah. Barry, you're so smart. I am. Hello, boys. Did you plant your trees? I planted mine. How about you, Franklin? Oops. Uh. Franklin was wondering if you had any trees left over, because if you do, he would be happy to plant them for you. Well, that's good of you to offer, Franklin. But everyone who signed the list for a tree was out today and took one home. Well, now I shouldn't say that. When I was on my way home, I found one on the trail just over here, and that's mine. It is. Well, I'm glad you told me. Now I don't have to phone everyone on my list. Aren't you glad we asked? I sure am. Here we are. Thanks, Mr. Heron. I'm going to plant it right away. I'm sure you will. I have something here I'd like to show you. Here's a photograph of me planting a tree when I was about your age. Gee, you were little, and so was your tree. Ah, but even the largest tree grows from the smallest twig. How big is your tree now? You don't know what tree this is, do you? <laughs> Follow me, boys. I have something to show you. Why did we stop here? Are you tired, Mr. Heron? <laughs> oh no, I stopped here because this is the tree. <gasps> you planted the tree for a tree? That's the one in the picture. Wow! Do you think my tree will be big enough for a tree fort someday? It's quite possible, Franklin. As I said, even the largest tree grows from the smallest twig. Bear, do you want to come to my house and help me plant my tree? Sure. Then come on. We've got to get this in the garden. It has a lot of growing to do. Bye, Mr. Heron. See you later, Mr. Heron.
Goodbye, boys, and have a happy Earth Day.